Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be talking a little bit more about my tongue grip, answering some questions that I've gotten about my tongue grip. Um, and then kind of just sharing a little bit more about my experience with my tongue crib. All while I get ready because I kind of liked that format last time. It was... I don't know because I don't like just like sitting here talking. I want to like be doing something kind of like as if I'm getting ready with like my friend and we're just like talking. I hate how my chair squeaks. So annoying but it is what it is. So I'm gonna get comfortable. Okay. And yeah so I already kind of put on concealer. I think I forgot my whatever it's right um yeah I put concealer on so okay so I have some updates regarding my tongue crib I still have it it's in my mouth um but I have been having a lot of problems with it because um <laughs> sorry uh, I've been having a lot of problems with it because I have a very gummy smile and if you don't know what that means it's just like when you smile and it's like all gum so I have a very gummy smile and um I have like very small teeth especially in the back it's like you could barely barely see my teeth so when they put the like metal appliances in my back to so like my tongue crib sits in my mouth like right here but it's like attached to my molars and there's like a silver I don't know like ring that they put around both both teeth uh, both my molars in the back and that that little ring is like because I have really small teeth it's all the way touching my gums so I quite often get gum infections um, it will literally only be in the back area where my tooth uh, or where my tongue crib is touching my gums it'll literally only be right there and I get them often and they hurt and they're not um it's just really annoying I just feel like there's nothing I can do no matter how much I care about my hygiene or I'm like really clean about my hygiene or whatever like it they just don't go away or like they just don't like stay away like I, they come and go or whatever and like I purposely um, bought specific um, floss things for like floss for my braces and I came in with like um, everything like hydrogen peroxide and um, baking soda to like really make sure I'm cleaning my mouth like that's not every day but like often enough to make sure like my teeth are clean and whatnot and then I'm like I literally brush my teeth like um three times a day like in the morning when I come home from work and then before I go to bed and like it's just frustrating because like I feel like I can't clean my teeth enough enough like I just keep getting like gum infections so that's like it that's been bothering me lately and I went to a consultation to like a doctor who specializes in like gum removal um so hopefully um my insurance covers that because if not I will have to pay out of pocket and that will probably be like a couple grand which I don't have so I don't know if I'll be able to get it if that is the case um if they let me finance it maybe I'll be able to afford it but I don't have that money right now and so yeah but I really need the surgery because I like my like if I could I wish I could show you it's so gross you probably can't see it but like on this side my and when they okay look I'm spiraling so when my gums get infected not only are they infected but they're like swollen so on top of already touching my my um, tongue crib like like where it's applied the little ring it grows even bigger and like has to. Guys, you guys could see it. You guys really can't. Like, no matter how close I get. Let me see. I don't think you could see, but right here. Uh, and right here. 
I don't think you guys could see it, but like pretty much my gums are just so swollen to the point where they're like growing over. Sorry, I'm scared my camera's gonna fall. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry. Anyway, so my gums are like growing over my um, brackets. So that is also really frustrating. That's what I have been dealing with um, on and off for since I got my tongue crib. Because um, I never used to get tongue infections. I never, I don't know. And it doesn't help that I do eat like chips. So you're not supposed to eat like crackers and stuff. But I'm like addicted to crackers. And like when I eat a cracker, it just like pokes it a little bit. So yeah, that's my fault. But um, yeah, so don't eat crackers. If you have a tongue crib or if you have braces, don't eat crackers. Like listen to your effect on it when they tell you don't eat crackers. Um, so yeah. Um, also, I like didn't really realize how much I think it affected my mental health so like just having a metal appliance like I think that I've had to learn how to develop a thick skin because people constantly make fun of like the way I speak and um if, like when it's like my friends I really don't mind because it's like um because I know they're not doing it they laugh with me you know, like, we're, we'll laugh together, and so it's fine. But, like, when I sub and stuff, like, I know kids are kids, they're young, they're immature and stuff, but they quite often make fun of me. Like, when I'm picking attendance, um, I will, like, always get made fun of because of if I say someone's name wrong or if I say, um, if I'm giving, like, instructions, I always get made fun of because I stutter and I have a lisp. And I will hear students repeating what I'm saying with the list, like emphasis on the list. And it's like, a lot of people will tell me like, why don't you get them in trouble or whatever. But really, they're young, they're mature, like they, they don't know the effect of what they're doing. So, I try not to take it personally, but when it happens six, time a day, six times a day in every single period, it does kind of bother me. Mm, and then it happens like six times a day, five times a week, five days a week. So it's like 30 times in one day. And that's just in school. So, yeah. I just, I think I didn't really, affect, I didn't really understand how much it affected my mental health. Just like going from not having a lisp to having a lisp and then just being like having to control the way I speak and the words I say I feel like I really have to pronunciate my words like I have to really try to speak clearly oh I almost broke my palate um the next thing I wanted to do is answer some questions um and the first question I was asked was does my tongue crib help me during the night like at night do I tongue, well, it was kind of like a double question. It was, do I tongue thrust, do I tongue thrust at night? And does my tongue crib help me? Um, so yes, I do tongue thrust at night, um, or I did at least, but my tongue crib has helped me at night because you definitely do that, I think, more subconsciously at night um, because you're unconscious. Um, so uh it has definitely helped me like i noticed that like i don't wake up um with my tongue obviously like pushing all my tooth my teeth because um the tongue crib is in the way i i will say i do wake up sometimes with my tongue pressing on my tongue crib and i will quite often get like indents uh, i don't think you can see it but yeah, so I will quite often get indents in my tongue because of like, I'll wake up and my tongue will have been thrusting on the tongue crib. But it is more, it's better now. I think I wake up better, more like with my tongue pressed against my the roof of my mouth. Um, and it helps. The only time that I struggle a lot with this is um, right now, currently, um, because of 
my allergies. I have really, really, really bad seasonal allergies and um, my nose will get plugged up quick. Like once, once my allergies kick in, my nose is like stuffed and I can't breathe out of my nose. So I'll wake up in the middle of the night with my, t my nose um, plugged and my throat hurting um, and it's because I'm mouth breathing and because yeah so um and I it does help me except for during the like seasons where like allergies are most prominent um from like right now I'm like oh oops I wasn't supposed to do that oh by the way the reason why I'm not putting any makeup on my forehead is because I'm gonna wear a beanie so and if I put a makeup on my forehead while I wear a beanie I will get pimples like for sure so I don't put anything on my forehead um okay anyways um so yeah that was like the first question does it help me at night and did I tongue flowers at night and yeah um the second question is um how much longer do I have with my tongue crib and well I don't really know because um I have one two five more months of my treatment but I could get my tongue crib off earlier if my teeth are aligned in the position that my orthodontist wants them to be aligned um, and right now they're not in the, that position and it's not because I'm um, going slower than usual, usual. it's just um, the pace of my treatment is a little bit slower so yeah um, hopefully I can get it off sooner than five months but if I don't, then that's just the way it is, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. So, okay, someone had asked me if I would recommend um, a tongue crib to someone who deals with tongue thrusting and. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to move. Let's see, grab my purse. <laughs> okay. Um, so, would I recommend a tongue crib to someone who tongue thrust and the answer is it wouldn't be my first um recommendation there's this thing called meowing and it's supposed to help you train your tongue to stay at the roof of your mouth or your yeah your mouth um that would be my first suggestion is to practice that for a whole month tongue doesn't get trained within that month then my second referral would be to get a tongue grip uh, I had an idea of what meowing was because I did a little bit of research before I got my tongue grip and before I got my braces because I wanted to know my options and a lot of the option or a lot of what was going around was like oh you can get jaw surgery and then have braces for a little bit to like refix your jaw and then braces to help straighten your teeth um, and then a tongue crib to train your tongue but then I saw a lot of videos and just like um like websites that were like try the meowing technique and it was like it also helps shape reshape your jaw because of the way that like when you tongue thrust and you push your teeth forward you create an opening and it shifts your whole jaw structure it shifts your whole face structure and so it is really like it really affects much more than just your teeth the final question that I was asked was, do I regret regret my tongue crib? The answer is no, I don't regret it. Um, I think that getting my braces again and getting a tongue crib will benefit me in the long run. I think it's temporary pain for long term benefit so yeah <laughs> I don't I don't regret it um I think when I get my braces off and my tongue crib is off as well I will be the happiest person in the world <laughs> until then I'm still pretty happy but 
Yeah. If you have any more questions about my junk crib or, or about anything regarding my treatment, drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, week, whatever time you're watching this. Bye.